Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat have been on fire as of late. And it's crazy that they're on a three-game winning streak after coming off a three-game losing streak. But tonight, they faced against the Washington Wizards, the team that had the third best record in the entire NBA. And you already know what the Miami Heat were going to do. But first, I want to say they did this all without Tyler Hero. Now, before we get started on the video, you guys, make sure you give me that HBO special. And if you don't know what that is, that's the Help A Brother Out special. So help a brother out and smash that subscribe button. Also, hit like on the video because if you don't, the Miami Heat will have a huge chance of losing their next game and you do not want to risk that. Now, the Miami Heat, when they faced the Washington Wizards, the third best team in the NBA, they wasted no time getting their superstars open, getting them their looks, and that's why they beat them 112 to 97. Jimmy Butler, he had 32 points, three rebounds, five assists, four steals, shot 11 of 19 from the field, and 10 of 10 from the free throw line. He's getting to the line, drawing the contact, and he's been doing great things. They have Steph Curry, Kevin Durant as the leaders for the MVP race, and I just don't see why Jimmy Butler isn't at the top. I know he's been injured for a little bit, but you can see, you know that he's adjusted to the rule changes. He's been that guy who's been consistent getting to the line, and he deserves maximum credit. Kyle Lowry, he had eight points, five rebounds, but most importantly, 12 assists. That's his job, and he's been doing it. Bam out of bio, he had 20 points, nine rebounds, shot nine of 16 from the field, and I'm going to talk about the two guys that I believe had a key role, and I'm actually surprised about their last few performances, and that's one, PJ Tucker, he had 15 points, five rebounds, shot six of seven from the field, and 100% from the three-point line, and on the season, he's actually doing a good job. Even though it's just 6.6 .6 points per game, he's averaging 50.7% from the field and 41% from the three-point line. Now, if that isn't classic P.J. Tucker, if he can give you that every single night, and on top of that, whenever playoff time comes around, guard somebody like Kevin Durant, then the league will be in trouble. And the other person I want to talk about is Gabe Vincent. He had 18 points off the bench, three assists, shot 6 of 12 from the field, 50% from downtown, and he was a plus 7 and a plus minus. He took over what Tyler Hero couldn't do tonight because he had to take the night off. You remember what I said. Once these guys get that, that experience with the lesser teams, like the New Orleans Pelicans and the Oklahoma City Thunder, then they will be able to step up against teams like the Washington Wizards, teams that's at the top of their respective conferences. Now, we know the Miami Heat should be number one, number two in the standings, but it doesn't matter. We will get there. We are now on a four-game winning streak, so we know what is going to happen. Duncan Robinson, he disappointed me a little bit tonight because he had another shooting slump. He had six points and shot two of nine from the field, two of eight from downtown, and hopefully he can be a little bit more consistent. What I really love about this game was the Miami Heat was toe-to-toe -to -toe in field goal percentage, shot worse from the three-point line. However, they were able to get the free throws. They won that battle 24 attempts to 10, and they shot it at an 83% clip. Not only did they out-rebound them 47 to 41, what is amazing that's another low turnover game that the Miami Heat had with just six. Now, if they are able to control the ball and hold on to it, of course, time of possession, that matters. And with them doing so, they will be able to blow a lot of teams out. I really love what's going on right now. They're getting back on track. And in the next three games, they have to play one, the Washington Wizards one more time, the Detroit Pistons, which we know will be a W, and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Jimmy Butler will be looking for some, you know, a little bit of revenge against Carl Anthony Towns, even though I'm pretty sure that's pretty much squash. He has something against the Timberwolves, and it will be a great performance from the guy who I believe will win MVP this year because he attacks every time. He hustles hard, and if you really look at his career, he is that type of guy that deserves it. Every single team that he goes to, whenever he leaves, ends up regretting it. 
and there's a reason why now before i head out you guys i do have two questions but first make sure you follow me on both of my instagram pages once i reach 1100 followers i'll be giving away an nba jersey of your choice and once i reach 5,000 subs on this page and 11,000 subs on my other page my main page which will be in the link in the description at the top of this video i'll be giving away an nba jersey for both of those goals so that's your chance to win three nba jerseys make sure you comment miami heat for the miami heat channel and jersey for my main scotty ice page now the questions for the day is one what percentage chance do you think that jimmy butler has to win mvp honestly i think it's about a 40 percent chance just because steph curry has been going off and kevin durant with no help if he can continue to average close to 30 points per game and being the scoring champion that might give him a great case and the next question i have for today is do you think that gabe vincent will be able to play at a high level on a consistent basis he's getting his confidence but as we all know tyler hero will be back on the bench at some point victor aladipo will be back as well we don't really know who will pick up you know off of the free agent list or the buyout market whenever that time comes so let's take that into consideration before you answer now i appreciate all you guys loving your support and as always, this your boy Scotty Ice, aka Baby Braun, and you already know, I'm out.